Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly pre-order video. It is the 4th of November. Let's uh, go into it straight away now. Um, we're in Forge World. Uh, quite odd this week because yesterday there wasn't anything up for pre-order. Um, the reason for that was because I think um, on the Warhammer community website, uh, basically this is the uh, rule book apparently that um, everyone has been waiting for. It's kind of like rule book 7.5 edition um, so it basically gives you a full rule, rule book for using all of your, your Horus Heresy miniatures. All the FAQs and things have been put in there. You can still use your big £80 black books um, thank God for that. It just um, puts everything into like more, more concise um, sort of tome. However, um, then we all got an email, those that are um, uh, signed up to the the email notification thing to say that it had been delayed. So that's a bit of a shame. However, uh, I think a lot of these books, I know that the big black books are made in China, so it might be something to do with the binding issue or the print, or either way, they're not happy, so they're delaying them, uh, which I'm a big fan of that. It's a shame that it's got to this point because um, to get to this point as a company, they must have let something slip and a lot of people are seeing things slip all over the place uh, with, with Games Workshop Forge World. It's inevitable. They've got a huge uh, release schedule and they've got more products than I've ever seen in my entire life at the moment. So um, something's bound to give. Um, no company is completely infallible, are they? Um, so anyway, so we've got to wait a little bit longer for the rule book, which is fine um, for, the, for everyone that plays uh, Horace Heresy and things. Um, I'd expect it to be £30, maybe 35 but they could surprise everyone and just release it for 25 but we'll see. Hopefully it'll be up for pre-order for next week. So the point I'm making is that Forge World, there's just no uh, pre-orders this week um, for the Friday. However, when we pop over to Games Workshop, get your wallets ready because there's an awful lot of items up for uh, pre-order and things today. So let's go into it straight away. So we'll go to pre-orders as always, uh, view all, and we'll put them in a... Um, high to low. Now it seems like there's 49 things up for pre-order. I've never seen this many pre-orders um, for Games Workshop. It's it's absolutely incredible, unheard of. Um, and they're just gearing up for Christmas already. Everything from this ultimate paint collection, which is just remarkable. Uh, what do you get? You get, it says it'll give you the tools you need to paint almost everything. Um, Except for Windsor and Newton brushes, of course. <laughs> um, but it gives you 188 pots of paint. Uh, it looks like three cases. And uh, it gives you a view there of the um, paint sort of holders. I hope they're not like the cheap sort of flimsy soft plastic that you get in sort of, you know, your plastic toys. I hope it's not that. That'd be really poor if it was, but uh, I remember getting a paint set a few, quite a few years ago and it had just the foam cutouts and the paint pots fit in there nicely. And after I'd used the paints, I could just use the uh, the case as a model carry case. And I have done that. So it would have been nice to see something like that because I don't think you could really um, put your models in, in there. You're going to have to buy some foam or something from, from somewhere else, which is a bit of a shame. But £580.55... Um, I don't know whether it saves you any money. Typically, all of Games Workshop sets don't, except for the start collecting ones. Like their army um, bundles and things, they don't really save you any money. But if someone's got the time and they want to tot up all of these uh, paints and things and find out you know, if it does actually save you any money, then yeah, be my guest. Uh, Citadel of the Everchosen, uh, £400. This huge piece of uh, scenery here. What are you getting this for the £400? You get all of that plastic. I'm thinking it's made in China. Uh, most of their scenery and their books and codexes and things are all made in China now. I wonder just how much it actually costs to sort of um, produce that. But uh, there we go, that's that. Then the, you've got a layer paint set. So it does, in fact, include every single layer paint. Uh, 76, all in the 12mm pot. Um, and you get the, the hard case as well. So just from my maths, I don't need help from the maths cap, but 76, normally paints are like £2.50, so that's 180 So it looks like you're getting over £200 worth of stuff in 150 So you're still saving 50 quid, uh, which is pretty good, pretty good. Maths cat is rubbing off on me, it seems. Right, uh, so layer paint set, you get the base and shade paint set. The base and shade paint set, it says every paint in the base and shade ranges. 15 shade paints, um, I didn't even know there's 15. And... Um, 37 base paints. That'd be a nice kit as well. £125 though. You've got the air paint set. £125 again. 
and that just has all the air paint. I don't have an airbrush, so that's just really not for me. However, I think you can use them as, as normal paints as well. But there you go. Uh, the texture and paints uh, base set. This looks like an interesting one. £125 again. You get the 11 uh, texture paints. You get Midland Tufts. Would have been nice if they had Mordheim Tufts as well. That would have just rounded it out. It says uh, easily added to your bases with uh, Citizel PVA glue. Um, but then it doesn't look like you actually get the PVA glue. <laughs> so that's a bit poor. They should have included the glue with that for the basis set. Because as it stands, you're going to have to buy the glue on top of this set for those tufts. Oh well, that's a bit of a shame. It's a good job I'm here critiquing all of these sets and, and uh, finding out what's in them and what's not in them. The project paint set, this looks like it contains eight shade paints yeah they're pretty good ones uh, 11 base paints uh, 10 dry paints and 20 layer paints I would have preferred 25 or 30 layer paints more than the dry paints I don't think the dry paints are particularly great the Necron compound is great and that's it yeah the Necron compound is probably the best one out of those so that's that set and then we've got a little bit more of scenery so we've got uh, a Sector Mechanicus Hive Shield uh, which has the two uh, void shields, um, the hematrope generators, and some Promethean pipelines, £125. All of that definitely is made in China, I know that for a fact. Uh, an Adeptus Mechanicus army, I don't know whether you're saving anything from that that set. Uh, it actually looks like you're getting the £50 um, start collecting set, along with um, some uh, Catafon destroyers, uh, some infiltrators, so it just looks like the £50 set with two two extra units for an extra £63. Um, that's a fair bit of money, but there we go. Chaos Space Marine Army, that's out of stock anyway. Uh, Slaves of the Darkness, Blood Angels Army, again. So these are the start collecting sets with a couple of units on top, which I think are the same price. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, the Army of Nurgle set, uh, Drakari, well Dark Eldar um, set. Uh, Sylvaneth Army, Host of Slanesh Army, Seraphon Army, Death Watch Army. So again, the start collecting set. Clan Pestilence Army, Tyranid Army. So that's got the new um, £50 set in there. Iron Jaws Army, Blades of Corn, Necron, Outpost Pythos 4, Craft Worlds. So you've got the start collecting set again, but with a Wave Serpent um, and a Box of Guardians, it looks like, for £100. An extra 50 quid for those two so to me that just seems like it's what it would be if you bought bought it separately those so any money that you're saving with uh with getting that set you're sort of not saving anything with the others which was a bit of a shame uh the fire slayers army green skins runes of not alexa elixir <laughs> and then we're into the tyranid um releases so we're in november uh, you've got the Hive Mind Gaming Collection, which has your uh, Collector's Edition. That should really be called Limited Edition, but Collector's Edition book with your your data cards for sixty pounds, as as always, um, with these past few book releases. Then you've got the Collector's Edition itself, which is uh, fifty pound. Start collecting Tyranids. So this is the new set. Check back to the channel next weekend, and hopefully I'll have a unboxing for you and a review the. The weekend after or the week week after that even and this is great because it includes this trigon um, it includes the broodlord uh, which I've already got one which is a bit of a shame but I'll try and find a way of making it look a bit different um, and then a box of gene stealers which which is always great I mean it would have been nice if they had something else as well the previous tyranid um, start collecting set which there is a unboxing now on the channel if you check it out uh, that had three units as well, the Warriors, the Gargoyles and the Hive Tyrant. So three seems to be a common occurrence for Tyranids at least. At least with Eldar you got the Farseer, the Wraith Lord, a Warwalker and Wraith Guard, which is just a fantastic set. Um, but you're still saving a fair bit of this and, and Mask Cat will probably be involved and, and be able to talk you, well she won't talk you through but she'll um, disclose you know the savings that you'll get in this set um, when we get the set. So. Uh, that's that enemy below so this has just got uh, looks like gene stealers and some raveners I think they are I, I, for some reason I just think they're old models the gaming collection which is a standard codex with the cards uh, Citadel painting accessories so this has the um, painting handle the water pot and the um, paint mat it's a shame that it's got these 
rubber things here, but I'm pretty sure that you can just cut them off. I'm just going to lock them off. Uh, Codex Tyranids. Let's have a quick look at that. So, yep, yeah, £25. Some great artwork, it looks like. Yeah, really looking forward to that. Um, it'll be my first Tyranid Codex, so go easy on me when I try and um, pronounce things. Uh, so, yeah, this is just all, all the items. We'll have a look at those in a moment. Yeah, you get it on the enhanced edition, so for one pence less, uh, you're getting the digital version, uh, which is great. Well, it's the enhanced edition, so there's a few other things incorporated in that. Uh, Chaos Dread Hall, Dreadhold Ruined Wall, uh, Codex Tyranids EPUB, so that's just the codex, but you know, electronically. The STC Rise of Pattern Ruins, they were in the um, uh, Moonbase Clasius or Classius, and they're now separate. I've got a huge feeling that they're made in China as well, and they're of the uh, the sort of thicker, darker plastic. The Battle Journals, £15 each. Um, it's a fair bit, but they are 200 pages, so they are quite thick, um, and they definitely look uh, pretty decent inside. Um, look, you've got your faction, enemy faction. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from sort of making your own battle journal, but it's just whether you've got the time and things. And this one does have a page keeper as well. I think if it didn't have a page keeper, I think it would be a bit bit poor. Would have been nice if it was hardback as well for the £15, but that might be a bit of a pain to sort of keep open, you know, all the time, especially if you're writing notes and things. However, that page keeper is sort of a good sort of um, workaround, I suppose. The Citadel painting map, so you can just spill all of your, all the shade paints in your collection and they won't run on your legs or over your table or over your models or on your computer. Um, <laughs> this will sort of stop it um, to some extent. So yeah, I mean, if you're really messy, this is the thing, but it looks good because it's, I think it's non-slip. Been a nice uh, area for me to display my models as well. That's what I'm thinking of uh, too. It's annoying because it doesn't actually tell you the size which is, you know, for £15 it could be sort of, you just don't know. Uh, they should have put the, the dimensions on there, dropped the ball on that one. Um, the data cards themselves, £10. I swear they were like £8 before, or £6. So data cards are now the same price as a codex was all those years ago. Oh well. Um, the calendar, 2018 calendar, Black Library. Conveniently, doesn't show any of the pictures of all the months. If I was buying this, I'd want a picture of January, February, basically what all of the pictures are. If you want a calendar and you're into 40K, then go for it. We'll, we'll have a look at that eventually. A couple of books, so I have Medusa, um, paperback, £8.99. It'd be better if it was 5 99 or 4 99 uh, That's by David uh, Geimer. Jane Zarr, Storm of Silence, again, another £8.99. I wonder if they are, if this is a new thing that they're sort of testing out, whether they, whether £9 for a paperback is sort of a, a new sort of test bed. Then you get the Dark Millennium playing cards, so they are like bridge size cards. Uh, we'll just have a little look, all with John Blanche artwork. These are a must. I wonder if these are actually limited edition, to be fair, but stunning looking, uh, looking little cards there. Really nice, really gothic. I could just imagine in the 41st millennium them sort of playing cards with these. It'd be brilliant. But there you go, that's those. The water pot, what more do we say? It's five pounds for a little plastic pot that will hold your um hold your paintbrushes in if you like to keep your paintbrushes in for a long period of time. I've got the old pot with the um grey top. I use it all the time. Um I think it's great. It can be a bit of a nuisance if you're putting metallic paints in there and washing your brush up because the metallic sort of specks can go under the rim and when you go and wash the pot out and you can take the top off and rinse that thoroughly then um, sometimes you might get a bit of contamination but uh, overall yeah it's a good pot it's a good little um, paint pot I, I recommend them uh, and then finally the uh, the painting handle um, for use of three miniatures, well, three size miniatures, 25mm, 32mm, and your Terminator bases. So if you've got a Typhus model, which is a shame because typically you spend longer on bigger uh, bigger models. I want to say bigger models, that might not be the case. I mean, you might spend a long time on a Sergeant or, you know, a model on a 32mm base now, or even a Terminator on a 40mm base. But if you've got Typhus and you want to spend a long time on Typhus, you can't use this thing for him, uh, or a bloat drone even. Uh, or the Demon Prince, or Mortarion. Um, so, 
yeah, you're still going to have to resort, at some point, you're still going to have to resort to what you've been doing before, which is either using the cork or actually holding or cradling the model, like uh, like the Imperial Knights. That will be useful for a lot of people if they, for like special characters. If you're batch painting, not so much, because you pick up one model, you paint all the bronze, you put that down, and then pick up another one, and you, you know, and you just go, go through the whole batch of, of one colour. Um, but if you're doing like a, a sergeant or a captain or, you know, um, then I can see how useful these would be. So that's that for five pounds. And that is it. I say that is it. There is just an awful lot of releases uh, this uh, this week. So many releases. And it's nice to see all of these army bundles as well. I'm getting ready for Christmas. So there you go. A lot to choose from. Um, hope your wallet is ready. Because uh, next weekend up for pre-order we have Necromunda. Which is £75 for the 20 models. So look out for that. And then no doubt they'll re they'll be releasing gangs, and yeah. So you still got quite a few releases. I do wonder about the last three codexes because Games Workshop did promise a fixed amount of codexes before Christmas, and by my understanding, we've got Space Wolves, Dark Angels, and Blood Angels for them to release um, before Christmas. So we'll see if they if they actually do that. But we've got Tyranids uh, next weekend, and then we've got Necromunda, and quite possibly those codexes. And the big elephant in the room, or should I say the little elephant in the room, is the mythic, or should I say mythic, uh, Blight Hauler. Where has that gone? It's almost like Games Workshop have left it somewhere and, you know, there's been no communication direct from them about that. They announce a rule book for Horus Heresy that's coming soon, and then four days later they say it's delayed. They can do that. They they can say the mythic Blight Hauler, it's been delayed. There's nothing stopping them. So I don't really know why they've chosen not to communicate that. It's not be it's not that they can't, they just have chosen not to communicate it for some reason. So that reason is pure speculation. It could be that they've had issues with the, the mould, with the print. But again, if that's the case, they could have just uh, let us know because the majority of the Death Guard releases are, are out. We're still waiting on one of the best looking little models and rules wise it's very decent too. Um, we're, we're just left hanging at the moment. People that have invested a lot of time and money and effort into the Death Guard release um, are still missing that unit. I won't go on about it anymore, um, but hopefully uh, Games Workshop will pull that finger out and either communicate to us uh, why it's taken so long or um, they will just, or they'll release it up for, for pre-order as a, like a second wave. But um, it's going to be tough if they choose to do that after Christmas, sort of January, February time as like a second wave of releases. I think that's going to aggravate a few people, uh, me included, because Death Guard were sort of teased April time and they took a long, long time to come out. Um, October time they came out. And then now that it's just dragging on again. I mean, you know, from the tease to all of the models being released, if that's if that takes a whole year, then that's going to suck. But hopefully he'll be out before Christmas and I can stop whining about it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you've had a look at all these pre-orders. Uh, what are you planning to get? What are you looking forward to to get for Christmas or that you're getting for um, a friend? Please do put it in the comments below. Speaking of Death Guard, my Death Guard Plague Marine painting guide is up tomorrow. Um, it was about 1 hour 40 and I edited it down to 40 minutes. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. Camera angle is a bit odd. I will change that for the next painting guide, but I hope you enjoy that. It's just the way I paint my Death Guard. Um, so hopefully there's some tips and tricks that you take away from that. Thank you ever so much for joining me this morning. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.